Today we are going to talk about chess and we are going to develop chess in just four lines of code, right? So before uh, working on it, let's explore this library that Python chess. Uh, since Python is an open source li uh, language, so it provides the liberty to have a lot of op open source, you know, free libraries. Chess is one of those. So here is uh, a little bit introduction of chess. Uh, forget about it. We are going to implement something like this um, in our code and uh, this is the important thing this is how you can install it pip install chess and this library will be installed in your your computer and and further you can read about the documentation if you will just write board it will print this color colorful board for you and uh, uh, you, you can also check out if um, if you are at uh, stalemate or if you are at check or checkmate or something like that right so uh, it offers you a lot of a lot of uh, options and variety over here um, so yeah that's that's about it let's let's straightly move towards the implementation so this is how you can you can install it I have already installed it so, so I'm not going to run it I'll just import chess I'll import time um, I'll import random right so here I'll say board equals to chess dot board right so I'll, I'll uh, instantiate the object over here and and then then I'll say board right so it will actually it should uh, oh so this B is in capital right so yeah it has it has displayed the chess board over here in just you can say one line of code and then here um, you, you can also check the the legal moves uh, at your board since uh, it is custom in check that in chess that um, the white team will will have its first move right so since you're at white team so what legal moves do you have right now so you'll say board dot dot legal moves right so I just if I just hit um, if if I just hit control enter it will display all the legal moves that I already have so for example this one a4 so I can move to this a and this 4 so I can move my this uh, my pawn to the this location right so, uh, and so on I have these many um, these many moves over here so I can also count my moves over here so I have 20 roughly 20 moves um, right now right so uh, the next thing is what we can do is um, let me so um, how, how can we we have a move so I'll say board dot push send and here we will um, we will write the the destination of of the of, of the piece let's say we write we want to we want this destination which is D4 right so on this destination only this pawn can move right so I'll, let's say if I write uh, sorry d4 and I run it you can see that it has uh, moved over here but if we talk about this position which is c3 this pawn can also move over here right and this knight can also move over here so in that case if we um, we just write let's say c3 it will randomly move some character right but if we want to specifically move some character over here which is this uh, knight which is at b1 what we want to do is uh, along with destination we, we can also provide source as well so from b1 move character at c3 right if I run it here you can see that our knight has been moved over here so this is roughly and and then after this um, let me copy paste it over here so since white has white team has have its move now if I want a black team to have its move and if I just write um, d5 so it will this pawn will move over here right so let me write d5 over here awesome great so this is how you can you can play around with it it, it automatically shifts uh, move from one team to another team um, after one team has have its move so yeah randomly in four lines of code we have um, we have created a chessboard 
but not quite interesting yet, right? So let's move a random agent for, for this board. I mean, uh, even white team will be playing randomly and black team will also be playing randomly. So for that, let's work on it. So first of all, we will instantiate the board and then we'll say while not board dot is um i think it is it is just mate yeah i think it's uh, this function so if it will be just just mate the 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 loop will be uh, uh will, will break so here we'll say move sorry move count c o u n t yeah move count will be board dot legal um legal moves dot count right and let me subtract one out of it since indices starts from zero and then i'll say random move equals to random random is a library that we imported in the in the beginning over here right so i'll say random dot rand end yeah from zero to move count right um or perhaps you can name it max move count or something like that uh okay um uh, perhaps you can name it max move numbers or something like that right so then we will get our move how can we get our move so we'll say board um okay so if we talk about this this thing board legal moves if we run it so we can we cannot get any um any move out of it so in order to get uh, get any move out of it what we have to do we have to typecast it into list right and then again we have to we have to pick let's say zeroth move right and s since we need this string so we also need to convert it again to string right then we'll be able to get this string so let's just copy this whole thing right and paste it over here and in place of zero we'll say random move right so we we don't do not only we do not need the first move all the time we need a random move right random is coming over from here okay right looks fine so here we'll say board dot push send and here we'll pass the move right and then we'll say print board it will not print the graphical user interface of the board like this it will pr uh, print it in in some digital form right and then just for the sake of uh, clarity we'll say backslash n backslash n and then here we'll say time dot sleep so we will we'll, we'll make it sleep or we'll add wait of one second um, at after every move um, yeah that's about it so wh what is happening over here we are instantiating a board a, a chess board right and we are running a while loop until there's a checkmate right and then we are um, we are just uh, fetching out a random move from the board and then we are just playing that move after playing that move this board will automatically switch the the turn to the other team so since after after first iteration the the move will be turned to the other team and board will be updated so it will the legal moves will also be updated right so we don't have to be worried about that so let's run it and we have an error it says that there is no variable called oh it's not chess mate buddy it's checkmate right great so here you can see that this was the the board initially and the pawn has take taken its first move and then the knight has taken knight from the black team taken its second move and so on so forth here you can see that after one second it is displaying the the updated moves over here right you can add delay of uh, more than one second as well if you want right so yeah yeah that's about it so in in short we have created a chessboard in just uh, three to four lines of code and then we have also created a random agent now if uh, for for the for the advanced level developers if you want to implement 
reinforcement learning over here the the sketch is ready for you all you have to do is you have to add your training over here in this loop and that's it uh, yeah that's it so if you want to learn more about reinforcement learning we have a course of reinforcement learning please check out the link in the description of our website at which we are our reinforcement learning course is also available along with a lot of other artificial intelligence and data science based courses big data courses are also available there thank you mm -hmm.